Jersey Crypto here. Another morning. Taking it a little bit slower. Just because my wife's away, so I might as well spend time with the dogs. This is Frank. BB. BB! BB went back to lay on the bed. So Algorand's consolidating above $2 right now. If it stays above $2, I'm happy. Probably looking at another couple weeks or so before it starts spiking up again. Things are things for a lot of coins are going to start happening fast. I was part of the bull market in uh well, not part of the bull market. I was invested during the previous bull market of 2017 into 18. Um, got into crypto in about 2016. Uh, didn't know too much about anything. You know, just started researching coins. And I, I threw, you know, maybe a thousand bucks in. Went down to two hundred dollars. Um, thought I could day trade because it was so available to do so, and uh, you know, pretty much lost all of my money. And then I threw another two hundred bucks in just to be like, you know what, let me make that back. And uh, I remember like Mark Cuban at the time was was trying to pump uh, Mercury coin so there was like only a little bit of news about it so i threw uh i threw that 200 bucks into mercury it went up to like 900 within two days or something like that so then i took that i put it into xrp xrp spiked either way i it went from like about $200, I, I put that into Sia coin after XRP spiked, and uh, my account went up to like $14,000, and that was from $200 during the 17-18 bull market. Now, that's not like crazy money, but it's in my mind, $200 to $14,000, that's 700 times your money. So every dollar, you get $700. Pretty sure. I could be wrong with those numbers. But either way, so... Hey, sign off. It's too early to be barking. Let me make some coffee. So right now, I held my position in Sia coin, actually, since then. And I watched my account go from $14,000 at the peak of the bull market all the way back down to $130 like within maybe 8 months now I do have a gambling background I do have a numbness to seeing money fluctuate a lot in and out of my pocket. Um, you know, so I, I use that time to just keep researching, finding out more about these coins. Now, see a coin, I'll have to make a video on see a coin. It just briefly it's it's been in the the crypto space since about 2015 
um, cloud storage. One of the first movers in cloud storage. Um, back then, they called them utility tokens because it was either a currency token or a utility token. So, a coin that had some type of technology other than just spending it behind it. Which, that's kind of what intrigued me at the time. Sorry about the water noise. Um, but, you know, so then they just kind of split the market between the two. Now you have DeFi, now you have NFTs, you know. Just the concept of crypto is growing. So many more things coming into the space. But then it, it was a lot more simple. So you could invest in utility tokens or just currencies. So XRP at the time was the one that I was like, this is the currency. And the, and the main reason, honestly, other than even then, I think they had like some type of contracting stuff with Amex. Um... Which, like, the contracts do or don't amount to that much. But if they're in contracts with Amex, I just knew that there was going to be a lot more to come for them. So I always kept my eye on them. Obviously, the I, you know, the market started crashing and everything else. So I had time to just sit along the sidelines and just kind of watch it all play out. Um, so, either way, so Sia Coin, you know, started as just cloud storage, which their growth with their utility has been exponential compared to the price of the coin. And the main reason is they have invested almost no money in advertising to pump their coin. It's almost like they want to stay on the back burner just so that once they do release any big news, they're already destroying the competition. Like, like they're actually already destroying the competition, but once they, they release their big news, their big news is going to be like YouTube is now storing all their information on, on Sia Coin. And they, they can probably do that already with how much storage they have. Now, would YouTube take up all their storage? I don't know. I don't know how big YouTube is, but imagine, imagine the internet. It takes up space. You know, server space, data, all that stuff. So, Sea Coin is creating more space. And their currency is used to pay for the space. Alright? So, their currency is used to pay for the space that they're creating, which is pretty much endless. And they're also implicating the technology. To put applications on the space. Make it easy for new developers to develop on the space. So now you take Ethereum. Ethereum counts on other people forking off of Ethereum in order to create dApps. Create you know their own ecosystem. Kind of separates it a little bit. Um, now Sia coins totally decentralized, uh, transactions are like hardly any cost at all. It's, uh, it is proof of work, but I think the maximum supply is pretty much all already out. It's like 49 billion. Um, now, I don't know what the circulating supply is, you know, uh, because I think you can actually mine Ethereum and transfer it to Sia Coin. I guess at that point, you're just buying Sia Coin with Ethereum, so. But, uh, 
they started this thing, it's, it's Skynet, and this is now years ago, uh, which is far along, and their partnerships are so embedded into the crypto space that it, it's ridiculous. Like, new coins are coming up, partnered up with Sia Coin. They don't exploit exactly what the partnership is, but I'm sure that they're running off of Sia Coin's technology. And and Sia Coin's just not letting it out there for for some type of reason. Now, David Vorick, who's the you know head and co-founder, head dev at Sia Coin, has I just got into a Sia Coin rant. So he's from the beginning. This is in 2017, the beginning of 2017. He, he said something that resonated with me, and this is how I invest in, in people. I feel like I'm investing in people that provide technology. When it's the crypto space, I look at the person and their capabilities, their mindset. And at the time, he said, if you are thinking about the price of Sia coin, and this is in 2017. We're, we're, we're coming up on 2022. Okay. He said, if you're worried about the price of Sia coin, then you have no idea what we're doing. They are the new internet. Sia coin takes up the most space in the new internet. Okay. And their coin pays for that space. When you buy the space that they have created, you now own that particular part of the space. And you can rent out space on your hard drive and earn Sia coin through contracts, storage contracts. And it's, it's pretty much peer-to-peer. And you just have to make sure your computer doesn't, like, get exploded. But what they do with the, the files is they basically kind of, like, fragment the files into so many fragments. And then they put them on hundreds of computers, maybe thousands. So even if, say, some of the computers go down, enough of the file can be maintained to to get your whole file back. So it's super secure. It's it's 20 it's like 10 times cheaper than than regular cloud storage from Google and everything. If Google is $20, see it coins $2. Cheaper. Because the technology cost less. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to make less money. Okay? So, just because something's cheaper doesn't mean that that person is making less money. Okay? I sell pasta for a living. Something, you just look into margins. Okay? You got to look into margins. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Now, Sia Coin has. I was investing in the Sia Coin when they were at a thousandth of a cent. Z point zero zero one. It might have even been point zero 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 one. Yeah, it was. So, it was 0 .01 cents. Okay? Not 0 .1 cents. 0 .01 cents. Okay? <laughs> so, they ended up going to um, 14 cents, that last bull market. I think it's only going to show 11 on the charts when you look it up. Because that 11 to 14... 
I remember I was sitting on my couch and just rambling off to my wife about, you know, the measly, measly little bit of money that I put in, just going up by the thousands. So, let me turn this coffee on. So at that time, I was kind of in between like Digibyte, Dogecoin. Now, Dogecoin, like I said, you know, you, you, can't, you can't stab yourself in the back for making decisions that were smart decisions, but just the world is weird. So Do Dogecoin's a meme coin. I've had... Probably over four or five million Dogecoin during the 2017 bull market. And you were getting that much Dogecoin for like a couple hundred dollars. Millions of them. Millions of Dogecoin for a couple hundred dollars. Now, did I need any of that money that I was putting in? No, I was expecting to lose it. But... In my mind, I couldn't even imagine how high Dogecoin would go in the next four years. If I held four million Dogecoin that I put $200 in, I would be a multimillionaire just off of Dogecoin. Off of $200. Now, from 2017... To, to now, they're, other than how they're developing these currencies behind the scenes, they say the adoption is like so rapid, this and that, but most of the adoption is just in the financial part. It's not in the technology part. Um, people want to make money off of it because they see money getting thrown around. But where do you go on your day-to-day -day basis and see crypto technology making your day better now you can see how it can but as far as real world adoption it hasn't happened in 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 your big countries now i would really like to go to el salvador i heard now that um There's another country. Um, actually, my brother told me this. That, jeez, uh, I'll think of the country in a little bit. But there's another country that's accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. And uh, I think they're going to end up running it off a of Stellar. Which... The coins that can operate like that, where, you know, countries can run off of the, um, the tokens that have smart contracts are, you know, Stellar, um, Algorand, obviously, which I'm, that's my baby. Digibyte, ADA, which is massive already. Um, they're only going to get bigger. But in my mind, you know, their market cap can only maybe 3 or 4x. Where Algorands can still, you know, 40x. So... The uh, the coin the biggest coins are going to be the ones that countries can use for the infrastructure, the technology to run all the cryptocurrency payments, smart contracts, NFTs. Um, you know they're they're going to be putting real estate on it. They're going to be putting every any transaction that you can think of. You will put on this. If you trade someone a physical item, 
there can be a smart contract in, implicated that you now own what they had and vice versa. Like the anything, just anything. You sell your house, it could be literally six seconds. Uh, you might want to take more than six seconds because that's a big sale. But it could possibly just be take six seconds to make a transaction for your house. Uh, real, you can you can do micro investments into real estate already off of Algorand. I mean, the the potential is is endless. It's a new thing. Uh, and that being said, what happened in two thousand seventeen, from two thousand seventeen to now, it isn't even close to what's going to happen in the future, in the next ten years. Um, you know, you go to Bitcoin and you just, you know, you think of the numbers and 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 where it came from, and yes, it's insane, right? Going from a fraction of a cent to to a dollar to a thousand dollars to sixty something thousand dollars, but it's there's only one fifth of the population invested. So imagine the not even that probably into Bitcoin because a lot of people that own cryptocurrencies don't own own Bitcoin because there's there's sought-after potential from newer coins to have more growth. Um, once I get to a certain point, I, I might store a lot of my, you know, um, value into into Bitcoin, because that's what it's meant for, but, but I don't know yet. Now, this is too long of a video. It was too long of a rant. I forget exactly what I said. I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it. Mostly inspired you to just... Free thought is one of the best things you can do. Don't be over-manipulated by someone else's ideas. Okay? Um, you can make the right choices. And you can do it efficiently. You don't need to take your time with everything. And when you make mistakes, just get out just as quickly as you got in and, and move forward and learn from it. Don't dwell. Move forward. It's the easiest, hardest thing to do. Jersey Crypto out.